All right, so I have a 2008 Subaru Outback here, and uh, I've got a airbag light that's coming on on the console. And I took it to the dealership and had them download it. They downloaded a 26 code, and uh, told me that that you know called out this um, this passenger airbag module, which is basically a set of LED LEDs uh, up here above the um, above the, the rear view mirror, these LEDs turn on and they tell you if there's a passenger in the car or whatever. And apparently those go bad and will cause a uh, an airbag light on the console. So you can't order, you can take this little LED assembly out, you take this out and you can take that out, but uh, you can't um, buy just that from the dealership anyway. You have to buy this whole console, which I have here. Looks like that. Um, so I'm going to replace the whole thing. It's pretty simple. You just need a, a number two Phillips. And uh, there's four Phillips screws. You saw me take the first couple out. There's two underneath this little light. And I think I bought it for, from the dealership for like 130 bucks. I'm sure you can probably get it cheaper somewhere else, but there's a couple clips in here, of course, and some electrical connectors. Hopefully, you can kind of see that. go. Hold one out. And I need to get the little light cover off of the new one here. And hopefully these plugs will go in a little easier than they came out. And my arm's probably in the way, but that's okay. It's a real simple job. And my light uh, is not a constant light that I'm having on mine, so um, I probably won't really know if this fixes anything. It seems to happen more when it's cold out, and of course it's summertime now, so I may not know for another several months or more if this fixed anything. Um, but I'm still going to change it and hope for the best. Airbags are kind of important. So if this does fix it, there's really no reason to have a dealership change this because it's a pretty easy fix. Yeah, I shouldn't have tightened these up yet.
Alright, that's that. And uh, there's just a couple tabs for that to go in. Clicks right in. Let's make sure those lights work. Oh, my battery is disconnected. I should have mentioned that. You need to disconnect the battery. I think the manual says for 20 seconds before you work on anything on the airbag system, so don't forget to do that. That's it.